on a swimming pool with a swim pro, which is a very old Hayward um, system. And uh, this, when I did the sand change, the sand was all matted and um, full of muck and very low flow. I tried to give it a backwash to start with and it was just horrible flow. Um, so I've changed the sand and uh, the situation was the same, still low flow. So I've come over to look at the pump and uh, put ourselves a Pentair or Onga pump here. And I took the, um, the basket was clear, but I took the basket out and then put my fingers down inside. You can reach in here to check the impeller to see if it's locked because there was really, really bad flow. And sure enough, that is just chock block with leaves in there. So most pumps, you can do an easy pull apart. You just undo, there's four bolts here, um, big stainless steel bolts on the top. These are half inch or 13 mil and um, undo those, one, two, three, four, and then the pump face will come off and then we can um, clean the impeller out and you'll love the tool I use to clean the impeller out. Here we go, all four bolts out and let's see what we're gonna get. There is the uh, end casing off and there's a baffle plate in there. If your pump's been overheated, you'll be able to tell whether that baffle plate are all distorted. But uh, yeah, have a look in there. This is what's going on, that's the nozzle um, for the pump and it is chock-a-block so we'll give that a clean out and then you'll see all the veins of the impeller down here once we've picked all that out we then need to poke that through the tool of choice for that of course is a zip tie we poke that in and we we poke that in and we poke it through each vein all the way through and make sure it's all clear and then just put the bolt back together I mean check the o-ring there's an o-ring here Get it back in place and clean, bolt it all back together, and your pump will pump again. But when she's full like that, it's not going to pump anything at all. So why does this happen? Well, the reason you have a lint basket up at your swimming pool and another one down in front of the pump is so the leaves and bits and pieces like that, the debris, don't get through and block your impeller. So my guess is this situation here, someone's decided to give their pool a vacuum or even a vacuum to waste without the baskets in place. Uh, thinking they won't have to empty the baskets that way. Problem is it just blocks the impeller. So most likely what's taken place here is that someone's run the pump without the baskets or even um, bad emptying of the baskets. So you end up with a lot of leaves in behind, but this one looks to me like it's been run uh, without the baskets, which of course causes this blocking. There we go, that's how it's supposed to look. And uh, that's how much leaf came out of just the nose of the impeller there. Um, that's a whole lot, and it was jammed in so tight that I had to use a pair of pointy nose pliers to, to get it out, so it's been there for a while. This will make a big difference to the performance of this pool. And then as I said, down each vein with the zip tie, poke it right through, you can see it coming, coming out there. Just poke it down each vein, one after the other, and uh, yeah, it's poking out again. When you've done all that, the pump back together.